everybody and welcome to another Camp Cretaceous video and for today I want to discuss a moment from season 3's ending, well episode 9, that I wanted to talk about but didn't know if you guys would be interested in. However, in my previous Camp Cretaceous video on the Mosasaurus, I got a comment about this topic and I won't say who it's by because I don't know if they want to and for them I'm going to discuss what happened to the female pilot from season 3 of Camp Cretaceous. Now, the reason why I am bringing this up is because um I was requested to do it by um one of my subscribers as well as um also I was planning on doing it because well, let's recap the scene that we last see her. She crashes the helicopter after nearly hitting a Brachiosaurus. Thankfully, we didn't have our third Brachiosaurus. Actually, fourth Brachiosaurus death because, Jesus, now they just hate Brachiosaurus. First, they kill like five Apatos in Jurassic World. Then after that, nope, everything sauropod that's got to die is Brachiosaurus. Um, but anyway, back on the subject. After she crashes, we follow um, some of the other kids. <clears throat> Um, those being Brooklyn, Darius, and Yaz when they're being chased by the T-Rex. The other three are in the helicopter with her, so um, Sammy, um, Ben, and Kenji are already in there. However, we cut back to them with Kenji waking up, and we see that the pilot is no longer there. And we see that the front has been crashed, and we don't see her body on the ground, which has led many people, myself included, to wonder... What happened to her? Well, I have two ideas. Well, one leads to death, one leads to her still being alive. Now, we'll talk about her being dead first, and I'll explain how. Because if you look at the helicopter's front, you can see that the windows have been smashed. Now, it could be possible that um, she did not have her seatbelt or whatever harness on... You, Maybe she didn't have her harness on for safety, because remember, when she first got on the island, um, she may have been disconnecting them to leave the um, helicopter with the um, soldier, but then the T-Rex attacked and she immediately started flying off. So if that's the case, then when the helicopter crashed, maybe she was sent out of it and crashed on the ground. Maybe surviving that, but... Maybe some carnivore, like say an Allosaurus or the Baryonyx duo that were nearby, Chaos and Limbo, or even Rexy. Maybe some sort of carnivore came by, noticed her corpse, and say maybe they were hungry or something, or had a nest nearby if it's like something like an Allosaurus, and then they took her body away. Now you may be wondering, why they, why would they take her body away? Why not just eat her there? Well, because the helicopter is literally above them, and I don't think they'd want to risk um, it falling on them while they're busy eating. So maybe they took the body to a safer place to eat, because, well, maybe dinosaurs were being smart, smarter than normal. But since um, there's no evidence of this, like there's no footprints, there's no blood or anything anywhere, so it's possible that this is possible but very unlikely which is why we're talking about it first now personally i think she survived and the reason why is because um well the kids need a way to get off the island still well they do they technically don't because they obviously got off with mitch and tiff's boat but remember the show doesn't end with them getting back to the mainland and i know some people are like myself have theorized that like time and time again that they could be going to Isla Sorna, but let's just say they don't. Let's say they actually return to Isla Nublar because, say, like in my Mosasaurus video, I said that um, maybe the Mosasaurus attacks them and forces them to have to return to the island. If that's the case, maybe they could reunite with um, the pilot and then she could explain what happened. Like, maybe sh she had crashed through still and blacked out for a bit, and when woke, she woke up, maybe she was in a bit of shock, so she started wandering off. And when she regained c conscious, maybe she um, returned to the helicopter, but it had crashed at that point to the ground and was on fire. And she assumed either the kids were dead in there, 
or that they had gotten away, and maybe went to search for them in case, or just to find shelter. And that could be a possibility, because remember guys, we don't know how the kids are going to really get home, because the show sets up for season four, which means they have to be stuck on an island somehow. And if they have a pilot there, maybe they could find another helicopter or type of transport there, because remember, there's still the ACU vehicle um, centers to deal with. They could find a helicopter there and then she takes them off the island. That could be a possibility, as well as we have other things to think about, like um, whoever received that um, signal from the beginning of season two, which still hasn't been answered, I just realized. Or Mitch and, not Mitch and Tiff, sorry, um, Dave and Roxy returned to the island to save them, which would be strange now, because it's been half a year since um, the fall of Jurassic World. But what do you guys think? Do you think that it's possible that the female pilot is still alive? Or do you think that, like I suggested for her death, she was, she crashed through, was left unconscious, and then a carnivore took her body somewhere else to eat? Do you think it's that, or do you think she's alive? Leave in the comments what you think, and how do you think we'll discover that she's alive? Maybe she'll save the kids or something, or maybe the kids will find her. I don't know. Leave in the comments, guys. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.